Okay, everybody, how are we going to do today? Let's get started for Thursday. Uh, really glad to be back. Got a lot going on. Uh, just want to get to a couple quick things. First, some business. Okay, this is entertainment, not financial advice. Hope you find it educational. Let's get to work. So, on Saturday, we're going to have first course. I think it's been a year and a half. And I, again, finishing it up right now and it's going to be new ideas new concepts uh, I did want to point out that everyone can take advantage of this um, make sure that you are set up with the software and watch some of these webinars this is available in the blog so just go to harmonictrader.com click the blog and watch if you haven't seen these courses please they're on YouTube I make them available to trial members. Um, review this this material. We're going to build on that dramatically. So that's Saturday, 10 a.m. Eastern. And uh, yeah, you will be getting an email today, Stephanie. They will be getting an email today. If you didn't get an email, it's because I didn't send it yet. But you will get an email with the login. And also, uh, just folks, if you're ever in doubt, go to HarmonicTrader.com and click on to the Gold Members page. We're going to be here. The information will be posted here. I'll probably post it later today. But just simply, if you can't remember that, just go to the Gold Members page on HarmonicTrader.com and you're in business. So speaking about being in business, um, we need to talk really big time ultimatum stuff. Uh, today's session, again is harmonic pattern ultimatum meaning give me the pattern give me the ultimatum it's do or die time and that's where we are with nasdaq we are still in a type one reaction that decided to come back could not get a close this was really crazy but on tuesday uh we were talking about trying to break out above that bar to get us going and wednesday was a dump now this is it there's there's couple problems here the fact that we're retesting the hop and we are you know better part of four six ten thirteen fourteen sessions in from the completion of the crab but no doubt eleven eight forty eight is uh essential and we're looks like we'll close above it one thing to note okay this is this hop level this crab is absolutely the make or break. This is the ultimatum proposition, if you will. R meaning, under the hop level, your harmonic stuff is busted. So, 11,848, it is clearly responding. And this, uh, don't get me wrong, I'm not looking for uh, some kind of major generational low here. I'm just looking for a bear market bounce, type 1 reaction. And if we fail here, again, like any pattern on any time frame, you kick it up to the next time frame, the longer time frame. Because if we don't hold 11.7, then our whole weekly range going back to the COVID low is at stake. We would just go to do our retracement levels off the weekly. And, you know, you fail there, then we will be in that weekly time frame for quite some time. Not to mention, not many people are talking about the fact that what is 11.710? It's the exact 50% correction of the COVID rally. We've already given back half, half of the COVID move, which is, I think, remarkable if you think of it this way, of the amount of money that's been put into circulation since that COVID low. Don't get me started, but we need to think about how 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 large. Um, need to really consider this kind of retracement. The fact that we are trying to stabilize at least on a weekly. Last week was the initial test. Come back, retest it this week. Otherwise, you know the only other thing that I would look for beyond these lows is full eight eight six. Let's try it this way. 886. Let's go. 886. Thank you. 
7,800 folks. That's why this is so critical and the, the failure, if we cannot close above it this week, it's over. If you close under the 11,710, 11,700, uh, any, at any point from this point forward, it's over. That's, that is the ultimatum. That is the absolute. Um, I'm going to talk a lot on Saturday about binary decisions, binary thinking. It either is or is not. There's no middle ground. And if you find yourself not in the degree of certainty where it's clear it either is or isn't, you have to step back and look at your decision-making process. That's what I'm talking about here. There are no other options beyond the hop level off of the crab pattern that would suggest anything other than uh, this being a full reset. That's how important it is. I, I think it's fantastic that you have the 50% level corresponding with this crab. It definitely helps. Uh, if we were kind of in the middle of the range, I would say, okay, maybe not. The problem, we don't have confirmation on our primary time frame, on our daily time frame, which is where the the pattern's clearly developing. Look, we're, we're nothing here. We were rolling over yesterday. That was a pretty nasty, was that a capitulation move? It really didn't feel like it, even though it was down so much. And, I, you know, it'd be great if we were coming out of some OHSI oversold but it's not there. And then we have plenty of time because even Amplified, look, Amplified remains in a downtrend. And until we can really thrust and break out above the 50 level, that's what I was saying last week, that would be the start of at least some kind of real strength behind the type one move. Otherwise, okay, uh, I think we've been pretty clear about our essentially our disdain for the action for the last many months and in particular the last five six weeks have just been a nightmare if you know a nightmare in terms of this turning into something much larger which has been what we have been talking about all along um one or two of the story stocks that i would really be remiss if i didn't get into something like walmart folks Okay, haven't seen this since the 87 crash. And check, let's go, oh wait, you know what? I need to go to the other platform. Because Walmart had bearish patterns up there. Yeah, it had that ABCD, but let's go to HPC here. HPC, and I, I'm going to talk today a lot about just what are the major stocks and um, things to watch out for. Walmart, folks... Okay, at 157, we had the crab pattern. And I was saying that was one of the stronger stocks, period, that has collapsed. That has completely collapsed. And again, what do you do in these kind of situations? The, the key is to now go to your weekly time frame. There's no pattern there. Uh, there's, there's nothing but the devastating full home run type one move which is rare that's a rare type one reaction but it happened and you got to go to the weekly and what's the weekly well the weekly has much in the same regard still has an even larger crab pattern so something mm, something that is probably needs more time uh something that hasn't even hit the way we'd want to look at that is check out the big this is the type one it's still in a type one because off of this is the big crab pattern on the weekly your xa was 127 your hop level was 140 it went to 155 it was not the neatest most ideal of uh reactions reversals but we had another pattern up here. We were absolutely defensive. And then this is just is one of those situations where you're looking for a move from like there to there and it just blasts through. 
And that's one of the common ways you get the home run scenarios. You're working within your framework from reaction to target one, target two, and you put yourself in a great position that as it's getting there, it just explodes. That's how it happens. Again, stuff I'm going to talk about on Saturday. Uh, big shout out to everybody in the chat. How's it going? Uh, sure. Hey, Yash. Yash is asking, what about stop loss in a bat pattern? Listen, we're going to talk stop loss Saturday. Show up Saturday at this, the webinar because we're going to talk stop loss because we're, we are moving from even terminal bar and check back to essentially trigger go. Trigger go. Trigger and what should I be thinking? Trigger and what are the parameters? What's the defined parameter box, if you will? The defined realm, defined matrix, however you want to describe it, or I will be referencing it. And then again, applying binary thinking where it's real clear in advance of what it is of that, hey, it has to either do this or that. And if it doesn't do that, we got to respect it. If you cannot respond to that situation, again, that's what we'll talk about Saturday, then you just simply check out until you get yourself to a spot where you can respond to what the framework is telling you. For Walmart, trading 119, why not come for target one at 113? Pretty easy. But again, I think that's a busted chart for a while. And then we see target Target, Costco, these have been the strongest. These have been the strongest stocks for the decade. It's been a, a real consumer discretionary bull market that simply is looks like it's in the midst of a reset. And if we go off the COVID low, and again, something, a real easy concept of connecting dots, X to A off the COVID low, B points at a 47 come down, you start to find yourself at a bat pattern on target at about 109. Now trading 153. You're halfway there. Um, it might seem like an opportunity, but no. In fact, if we just trace out the framework, this is what our expectation is. There's nothing in between here until we go from there to there. Complete the 886. I have nothing. Um, someone sent me an email, asked me about Airbnb. And again, I said there's no, no, uh, there's no pattern, no trade. And I, again, I think that's something where people, they struggle with that as well of like, hey, what do you mean there's nothing there? There's nothing there. I don't care if it's cut in half. Wait till it's cut in three quarters or cut by 90%. If Because if this doesn't stop here, that's what's going to happen. In the meantime, even if it did stop here, this thing could go sideways for 30 more weeks and spend 30 weeks doing a dance of some kind of pattern here before it would even signal. Those kind of concepts, I think, go a long way to uh, bridging the gaps that I think people encounter with harmonic patterns. One, they want something there all the time. It's not like that. Have to be super selective. We got to measure up our, you know, the framework of where we are. Uh, and think about what I was saying back in April of that we were in the worst possible harmonic position we could be for a bullish argument. And again, look at like go from any any session from early April uh, of, of how ugly that was increasing to now. So uh, that's where we are just, you know, I, I can't stress that enough. I think there are certain things that need to be emphasized, especially during this situation, during this environment, where look, as bad as this has been, Okay, it, it's going to subside eventually, but we have to walk through the framework. Here's Hershey's, folks. One of, and I said this back in April, a beautiful forever stock. Um, and I think if you're 
Uh, one way to think about long-term harmonic patterns is you apply them to longer-term charts, longer-term setups, monthly, weekly, even big daily, and wait for those swing trades. Um, and Hershey's a great one to hold forever, but at what price? And that's what I was saying back in April, and now look what happened. I mean, we had a perfect check back. It was above the hop on the weekly basis, but we were saying that's it for now. And that was necessarily right at 228, 229 to be exact. With already called that, I'll have to look up the exact day when we looked at that. I think it was the last one of the in the last week or two of April. And that has triggered you're in full reaction mode now. And we're looking for target one at 167. So maybe later this year, it might even take till next year for this whole reaction, just a reaction to unfold. But I wouldn't even think about it till 167. So this is not in a great spot. If you were, you know, if you were a big believer in Hershey's, it's not there. Think about it that way. Um, let's go to a couple more. There's one or two more. I don't want to spend too much time on this. Um, it was that one and it was, oh, here's the other one. One of my favorite forever stocks, Altria. Love this stock. And I think everyone should own 10 shares, 50 shares, whatever, and just do the dividend reinvestment because this thing's a cash cow. But right now, it's in the middle of a weekly reaction. There's also some daily patterns here that are at work. Um, but look at the weeklies. Okay, big bat pattern. We were on this two years ago at 34, right at the COVID low. Okay, comes up off of the bat. Notice this hits 55.92. Exactly. That was the target one level off of the bat pattern. Okay, hitting target one. So looking for maybe a pullback as low as this 43 bucks. Trading 51.81. At a minimum off of the weekly bearish bat pattern. Here you go. I'm thinking 47. And until we get to that point, that's your, say, call it ultimatum. That is the, uh, you know, the only consideration for that move. And I, I won't even, I'll let it go until we get down there or I see another bullish pattern. But 47.08 is where we're headed. Now, we've done this a number of times with major stocks as we're saying, hey, the opportunity isn't until much lower until it's retested until it does x y or z and a lot of those stocks have fallen apart on their way to those targets and that's a real powerful advantage to following the framework being aligned with the framework and then applying whatever that assessment is in a, a clear black and white binary way wait till there's an opportunity the show itself uh, monster. Alice is saying monster. Uh, actually, one of the greatest return, one of the uh, the greatest uh, of the last ten years. Single percentage uh, return since what was that? Yeah, what was that low in two thousand nine? Was three bucks? Goes to a hundred, and that doesn't even include I think splits. And then you go back even before then, all the way to early 2000, I think it was. Yeah, you're talking pennies up to $100. Uh, Monster Beverage. Interesting to note, there have been... Look at how this, this long-term uptrend has unfolded. And this is helpful for a lot of the markets we're looking at. Big surge up into 2012-13, and then you get a correction pretty substantial that was like a 50 percent correction with another bat that took its time before it exploded again and you run into a bearish pattern but nothing it hits the levels and goes sideways okay not a bad place to be thinking to take profits but clearly once that this bullish pattern failed it spent the better part of 30 weeks going sideways only to break out same thing here 
So no matter what the ultimate assessment or ultimate realization of the pattern was, all of these patterns showing us that they they will hit the pattern and get stuck within and, and, and have to negotiate these zones for at least 30 bars. So why not here? Why not? I mean, it's pretty, I, I agree with you, Alice. This is probably not a bad area for a short on Monster. Not to mention, we want to be thinking 30 weeks, you know, 30 weeks of, of doing a dance here. That would put you into October. You also hit the target one level right now. So your shark pattern, which has formed from there to that 1618, actually turns into a 50 like that. So for Monster, that's around $88 looking for the return where the larger opportunity really exists down at 76, maybe as low as back at 72. Let's look at our, yeah, HSI is about to trigger. Look at that. That's a great one. I appreciate it. And that's on a weekly. That's on a weekly. So, you know, a lot of these are setting up in that regard. Uh, I would uh, pay close attention to that. Here's the other one, uh, Apple. It's the only one I'm looking at right now. So what Apple does here, are we going to hold? I mean, we're really, we're off of this crab pattern, which basically 175 down to 146. That has been the range we've identified for a while. That was our expected type one weekly pullback. We're a little bit lower. We could go to 135 on Apple. The thing is that we failed two bat patterns. We're below the hop. There's no confirmation, which bothers me on a lot of these patterns. We see that when you get a pattern with no confirmation and it just does a sideways pause, they eventually continue in the predominant trend. So Apple, let me tell me at 135. There's, there's just too much to consider here um, that is... You know, threatening continues to threaten where we're at. Uh, let's go. Where are we now with NASDAQ and Q? Okay, we're making progress off these lows. You're at a one minute ABCD at the moment. Let's see how this finishes up today, folks. I mean, I really don't. Uh, I, you have to see this thing hold. You cannot violate the lows. The low, the, there you go. 11. Amazing that, you know, 11, 7, 10 was the number. But here's a five-minute crab pattern. I'm, I'm a little skeptical of this today. Anything above 12, 0, 5, 0, maybe as high as 75 for this crab pattern. Uh, and this is throwing this out to some futures traders. Something to look for into this afternoon is a type 1 pullback off of this low, uh, off this, this pivot peak down to a low of target one. I, that's how I would size this up as like a five minute primary little day trade. But that's a nice one where, you know, possibly 140, 50 points from this pivot, this reaction. Uh, nothing on Amplify, uh, sorry, nothing on a harmonic strength index yet either. But that's, I would be looking for confirmation. Uh, there's a great example of non-confirmation on a, a five minute. I just don't do anything yet. I mean, maybe you're, that's a wide zone because your hop level is 12,142. We'll come back to this. I, I, because there's no confirmation, I don't think there's an opportunity here. And I would wait on that. I'd actually let that go. I think this could pop close to the hop before rolling over. Let's see. There was one other one I wanted to show everyone. It's gotten absolutely clobbered as Starbucks. But we're here. I, I wouldn't be doing my job if I didn't show you this. So we are here at the deep crab off the hop, like the NASDAQ. I mean, that's very similar to what the NASDAQ market's looking like these days. 72.22. Need to see progress development off of there. And unfortunately, again, there's no HSI in, in that can be found um, 
in the best of case that probably you're you're going to spend a lot of time going sideways and then maybe trigger something later i'm looking at this hop level uh it's a beautiful daily pattern but it's been crushed crushed i mean this is there you go look at the last crab that's more indicative of what a crab should do. Slam down into the 1618. You still spent three, four days before then you rallied and came out of the zone and made your big move. That was the COVID low. This one's already just sliding, hit, a little rebound, and then just slide sideways. But look, that fails under, call it 69, anything of... Uh, under that prior low, which was 68.75, then you're talking about you know a 50. Actually, come back and retest the crab at 58.64. Uh, Ziggy is saying 30 minute NQ futures. There's a shark. Let's see. You're right. Nice one. Okay. This is uh, a good intraday time interval. And a shark. So maybe we get up to that 170. The other number was like 140 on this move. Keep an eye on it. But the fact that you have even more patterns here. Down 11, 6, 19. What's that from... Yeah, that was the prior one, the overnight session. I think it's pretty clear, folks. You violate the May lows, whatever they are on any chart. If it's May 11, 12, 13, or if it's even today, like Target or, or Walmart, you just, you, you're you going to slide a lot more. Nice one. Let's get over to crypto. So uh, crypto really trying to hold its head. And that's not necessarily what I want to see. I would prefer to see this thing slam down now and do it. Here's the, no doubt, the Bitcoin crab pattern since last week at 25741. It is, all it is, is it's the March 1618. That's all it is. But we're going sideways. Not to mention. Okay. Uh, let me move that. I don't know why that gave me that. Uh, we have a complex structure here for amplified. So in any situation, your best hope for Bitcoin, again, is to go to 34000 and then come back down and do the type two. Back down to 20. I think that I'm going to stick with that until I'm proven wrong. And we could, it would be a sizable move. Uh, the fact that Amplified's coming out today, that's, that's good for the short term. But we know this is a W formation. We're going to come up to the 50 level on Bitcoin. So this is all still reaction. Any bullish move is still reaction. That's all it will be short term. Uh, I would throw the 30 bar count in basically off terminal bar and say, okay, this whole scenario, everything we want to consider is valid until June 11th. And so uh, think of it like that, where this is what we're going to assess from now until June 11th. We need Amplified to basically move immediately. Cannot roll over. Um, and even HSI, the fact that HSI did not register here tells me this is still reaction. It's just a structural reaction, non-confirmation reaction. We'll probably come up, we'll probably pop up, hit HSI, and, and come back down later this summer. Kind of like that. The other thing to take note of 
let's go to total total crypto market cap basically swimming under this 136 level and that 136 is a deep crab that we have looked at it it did the type 1 reaction real well and we were looking at this at 209 and said all right if that's going to get through it has to do it now and then it went sideways and rolled over went straight into the return all the way down to the hop and I kind of like the fact that this is a capitulative move it is really this is a this this definitely is a capitulation but is it a capitulation of just this leg it's kind of my thought is just it's just the capitulation it's not the big big capitulation doesn't matter you know 1.08 has to hold or otherwise the whole thing's going to break down under once you get under 1 trillion forget it that's why this is scraping the absolute lows of you know possibility and even this morning it looked like it was going to roll over again because the last several days have been doing just that this should be a type 2 down at the hop level. But there's the hop. 1.37. And you are sizable. You know, 300 billion, 200 billion, 250 billion underneath that where, oh, 300 billion underneath that. But technically... That's got to be your capitulation low. That has to be it on all of it. We'll see what happens because some of them are really fighting. Ethereum is uh, fighting this 1800 level, what we've been talking about forever, which is basically 1800 to 2000. This has to get above the area here where there's your hop. That was 17.83, and we did. We, we were low as what 16.95, 16.90, depending on your your feed. Let's see what are the other ones were. Yeah, the Coinbase is ba same thing, 18.04. So this could be a back test of that other low, but you don't have any harmonic strength index. So I'm still gonna say reaction. It could be a reaction like this. You know, like the, the, the type 1 reaction was, uh, the first reaction wasn't huge, but got you from 2.4 to 3.2. Something like the same kind of move could get you to 2.55. Some nominal move from here. Otherwise, it's over. Otherwise, you'll get that Bitcoin scenario pretty fast down to 20,000. And that's how then we, we would have to default to the weekly time frame and look the weekly chart is not is is going to be real nasty underneath 1.7 sorry under 1700 this is ethereum by the way sorry that there's actually there's nothing in ethereum that is overwhelming like we had back 2018 with that massive bat pattern um and this is the only consideration. Let's just connect dots. B point at a 56. We could almost say that's a Gartley, but the ABCD doesn't work. So you have to go down to the 886. There's just two options there. It's essentially 1800 or 615. It's it just not... It's, it's just not a framework I want to challenge. I don't I don't want to be, you know, I don't want to end up like what happened in 2018 for a lot of people where we got a very similar formation. You know, I, I would say um, that's the comparable 1700 scenario. You know, the last time we were there, which was like 400. And we were violated 400. And then you went all the way down to 71 bucks on Ethereum. And this is devastating. Uh, even though most of the damage was already done from there to there. It, trust me, the, it's going to be, if we don't hold, okay, and that's 1800, this will be more painful 
than this large move because this will take longer it will drag out and then the thing the thing about these situations is once they go all the way down for the reset or the full reset there 886 or even the hop level they're gonna have to go sideways for a while you might get this brief reaction but no it's more like like up for a reaction down for a retest up for another reaction and do that for six or eight months or a year to form a base and then break out and that's why if we are still trying to complete the downside the backside of the covid run which if, if these top tiers don't hold anymore that's what will happen they'll all go to 886s that then the rest of this year will be from there to there and then next year will be it'll you'll have some reactive moves but you'll begin consolidation phase reaccumulation phase but that won't even start until you break out of the downtrend need to see some action here or you're done and I think Ethereum probably will lead the way if Ethereum uh, breaks down and we can't get out of this hole which you know it doesn't look these lows at 1738 are just begging to be flushed out the other thing to notice is that the closes okay we haven't really even closed below I would say 1850 1800 we had a lot of thrusts down to 1700 and slightly below but a close is really a close under 1804 probably would do it for me and so ethereum definitely one to watch uh probably one of the top layer twos something we mentioned was knc that hit its 886 big crab pattern there but hit the all-time 886 i think where was it on the daily having just a, a a little nice steady reaction off of this you know look for this to do a 382 bounce 283 284 another 40 cents higher that would make sense um let's talk daily patterns big daily patterns in things like this and chilies beautiful crab right here type one reaction okay i i own a little bit of this uh i started hitting on this last week but i look for a target one reaction up to 17.68 cents and we'll see what goes on from there should be about a 50 percent move and i said this in the last session of how, how to think about that in terms of percentages makes it easier to take it off if you're going to trade it and I just want you to trade it but that's how to think about it whole bunch of setups here where look if the market can stabilize if Nasdaq can at least hold its head and I mean today tomorrow into Monday then you could get some kind of counter trend nasty bear market rally that will likely have a, a return phase to it again for we see this in a lot of the the patterns that have lined up where it's kind of like this folks where counter trend reaction and then come back down i mean i wouldn't be surprised to see chili's do a big pop and roll back down and maybe hit the hop later this fall but for now the relative position of where it is at least you're showing some reaction signs one or two more on these things that i have mentioned uh, here's that engine coin another big 886 it was an engine no EOS EOS is it it was an E which which E was it it wasn't that Ethereum class maybe it was Ethereum classic I think it was Ethereum classic it was one of these E's uh, yeah, I think it was Ethereum Name Classic was uh, not no Ethereum Classic. There's Ethereum Name Server. There's Ethereum Classic. Uh, I, I'm looking at this ETC. It's a Type Two under 1986. We retested that 
this morning, yesterday, trying to hold, can't take out the 15 low. Let's keep an eye on that one. This is a beautiful type too. Look, nice move. Even though completion was here and took like 60, 90 days before you did the move, you got it. And now we're all the way back down. What are we looking for here? Just a trend line breakout to really get this going. If we can get above 22, 23, yeah, then you have a chance to do something much larger. Again, even in a reactive move, the 30, 35, something like that. Minimum. I'm really trying to think in reactive minimums so that you understand the severity of where we are. I want to think contrarian because I do think this is about as ugly and as max pain as could be. But we need things to happen now. I don't think it can fall quicker. Um, Evan, that's a it's, look. It's it's definitely Evan's uh, making a good point. Like, don't can this go lower? Absolutely. These all could go to to single digits. You know that they could. I'm just saying we are here, hitting targets, hitting levels that we can't ignore. We can't just say, oh, the whole market's gone to hell in a handbasket. We're just going to dismiss everything we see now because, you know, because it's scary. Uh, here's Solana. Okay, Solana is sitting down here at a couple things. It's, it's really a bat pattern going back to August. You had a, a smaller bat, which it hit the hop at 37, basically at the XA level of this bigger bat from August, which I'm going with, is 53.40. And that had a terminal bar of 43. So that's a low, that's a wide range. I mean, and that is something else with these where, yeah, cryptos have been overrunning your XA levels. But one of the other things I've said is when you get into these extreme drops, you know, into your zones, or if it was bullish to the top side, you wait for the first, counter trend price bar so there's terminal bar but look you come into your zone one two three four five six seven so eight so seven of eight days were down pretty much eight straight down days so you don't touch it until i see one bullish candle which happens there and that's usually the first sign so come back, do some consolidation, do a little dance in the zone. Okay. No confirmation. I don't have a con I don't have HSI trigger, which is a shame because I love the pattern. But I'll keep an eye on it. Maybe if we can come back to 43, I don't know. But we're close enough that it warrants a, a real, you know, radar approach. Get it on the screens. Start looking at this stuff day over day. Uh, here's another real S coin. This is this scale. Okay, but it's, look, it's just responding to the major levels. Uh, there's a couple levels here, but a big shark getting generated. Pretty amazing. You know, go back to last summer. Big thrust up from 10 cents to 45. All the way back down to 10 cents. That set up your shark. You had a little crab in the right, the right leg of that shark, and it went to target one exactly of the shark, which is a 50% move and was a triple off the low. Triple. Now we're back down. If that is a shark, which it is, then this is a type two. And there's not much at 7.7 .7 cents. You're 8.5. I feel like I should be clicking and go buy a 10,000 or sorry, 100,000 of these now. Maybe I should. But what do I have here? What is it 7.7 .7 cents? And we need to be that exact. Anything on the four hour chart. Okay, nice bat pattern at the hop level at 8.5. I can work with that. But this is pretty much an all or nothing deal, folks. Yeah, you have a crab pattern on the hourly, so let's break that down. Should go to 10.8. You know, that's a 20, another 20% 20 move from this level. 
I might act, I actually might grab some of that. That's scale, S-K-L-U-S-D. Here's another one. Anchor. This is a big 886. Oh, here. Look, all time, beautiful. Do your full reset. Start looking at these puppies. You know, 886 is exactly. I mean, that's, you, you, 2.5 cents, folks. You're 3.7. A 382 bounce gets you to 10 cents. That's a triple. That's, that's the most I would expect, but look at the daily now. Beautiful crab pattern here. Okay. This is anchor. I own this. I think I think I do have a hundred thousand of these. Yeah, it's like thirty five hundred bucks. Uh let's see if we get a nice type one move. I would love to see this go to seven point two for more than a double. And then I would probably look to take profits up there. But this is the kind of reaction in these that are sitting at the eight 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 six is you know, this is a Chili's, this is an anchor. This is uh, like a lot of these other S coins that are so toast. They're so oversold down at sitting at our 886 resets that if they have another pattern down there, I'm going to look at them. Keep an eye on that. Uh, for Solana, folks, it's not ready. It's almost there. Is it closer to 43 or is it closer to 53 for Solana? That's what I want to look at. Uh, dot, polka dot. Look, there's another one. Weekly, weekly. Okay. Remarkable. Uh, and I'm repeating myself on a lot of these. But, you know, 886, right? 886 is at 965. You are bouncing, although I want to see a bullish candle. Okay, here's another example of looking for a singular bullish candle because not only has the whole decline been devastating, but tell me what's happening as we're going down into the number. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven weeks down. I, I would even wait, and, and I, that's okay. 965 is your number, but we would need to see a close of basically above 11 to get one green candle there. And that would be the starting point. Beyond that, okay, you know, give it time. You you would want to be in a 30-week count going to the right, which is quite a bit of time. You know, you, you could do a, a reaction in that time and, and do 30 weeks from here, basically seven months, puts you at the end of the year. You go up, well, come right back down maybe towards the end of the year and try to confirm the lows. That's the relative position of a lot of crypto. It's absolutely deep, deep oversold. It just, these need triggers to react. They're not there yet. Uh, someone wanted to look at Bitcoin, Ethereum. No problem. Let's go to BTC. ETH. Oh, that was bat. No, it's the wrong one. I want BTC. Bitcoin to Ethereum. I should probably do it Ethereum to Bitcoin, shouldn't I? Yeah. Like that. Okay. Um, well, here's that chart. Just draw your uptrend line. What's that doing? Ethereum dominance continuing or rolling over? It's absolutely, uh, looks like it's rolling over. What's the daily show us? Oh, nice. At least there's a shark pattern up here at 6.4 cents, 6.4 cents. 
but it never did get to target one and I would I'd be a little careful on this because um, Ethereum if we, again we fail in Ethereum maybe this is a good one to monitor how it's going to fail what degree it fails relative to Bitcoin it might be better for Bitcoin or Bitcoin to go down less, but I want to watch that. Uh, I will watch that ratio. That's that's an important one. Um, look, here's another one that seems to be real popular with the kids, as they say, hex. I know they got some kind of airdrop, pulse, you know, whatever it is. Um, folks, I want to watch hex. You're at 10 cents. Uh, last time we talked about this thing was 20 cents and that's not taking shots at any one individual you know who he knows who he is uh, again nothing personal against any of these guys I'm just saying okay it can be the greatest thing but at what price because if you loved it at 20 you better doubly love it at 10 and then when it gets to possibly hitting the hop level at 5 this hop level which it is in position to do okay don't don't come at me say you know why didn't you tell me let's keep an eye hex is i think another one of these where these super s coins that are supposed to be uh hedges and you know alternatives to say whatever the mainstream crypto is they're not working and they need time to work uh, just just let's keep an eye on that as like a barometer of things. Um, and much like Doge, okay? hate to say it, but, you know, Doge is languishing down at this, uh, at a level we always thought could happen, seven cents. And yes, we got a crab pattern, or deep crab pattern. Okay, at 6.7 cents. Doge is not one I'm, I'm really interested in. If you want to speculate, sure. But the maximum I think could happen is there's a, a bump up to about 11 cents. And then maybe if Doge came all the way back down later in the year, something like that, and then went, I would look at it. But even, even to consider a short-term trade, no. There's nothing really working that would suggest that's going to do more than a reaction. Uh, let me do, I want to do one or two more. We've been going good amount today. Again, folks, uh, let's just, before I get out of here, go over to harmonictrader.com and become a basic member. And if, again, if you're to get with the course, just click on the gold members page. But everyone needs to be set up with the software and get a trial to any or all of them if you'd like. For the trading view, and that's where I suggest everyone start, send your username to hpc at sr-analyst.com for 14-day trial. And then get with the rest of the crew on Discord. All of that's there. Um, if you're relatively new to Harmonic Patterns, the course Saturday might be a little bit over your head, but I will have the recording and people can go back and review the recording. One or two more. Uh, here's Matic. Okay, check out Matic on the daily. Deep Crab off of the last move in March. Okay, everything's basically 70 cents. Not to mention, look at the massive bat pattern on Matic. I mean, back to back. That helps too, by the way. Massive bat pattern with a little crab up to 265. The top was 280, 286. Now all the way back down, and oh, this is amazing. Wait a minute, I you know what? I'm just noticing this now. So the bearish had a big bat with a little crab up into the zone. Now we have a big bullish bat with another crab back into the zone those little commonalities matter it's like a harmonic signature and so we're at 65 cents let's again not quite there because of how extreme look 
Another example of uh, an extreme drop into the zone. Start from there. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight down days in a row. Just this month. So wait for one candle to go green. Light switch goes on there. Now we start to make the assessment. Now I'm going to consider it from basically that second green candle to the right. I kind of like that, but do we have any trigger? No. Amplified RSI needs to get out of the zone before we could even consider that to accelerate. So I'll keep an eye on Matic. I'll post updates. There are a few more of these that are in that relative position, but no HSI, and that's a shame. That's, that's probably going to take more time, but there are a number of different things happening that just in the last four or five days, we can really start to look. Not do anything, but let's look. I, I want to see some progress out of that zone, especially in the indicator. There was What was the other one? Was it this Ren? I think we talked about Ren last time. Yeah, Ren is this monster. Monster bat. Another monster bat pattern off the top. There you go. Uh, what's going on? Why can't I see that? I know we were talking 15 cents last time. And still are. This is all-time 886 material. So uh, with all of those, I don't need to go through any more of these other than for your favorite crypto. And I know people have their favorite crypto, technology, fundamental reasons, adoption, community, whatever, blah, blah, blah. It's no offense. It just look at the measurements, please. At what price? And can we get a 382 bounce? Can we go from 14 cents to 87? Probably in 30 weeks. That's how much time it would take. But again, massively down. I need to see one green candle. One green on the weekly. And then a lot of these other ones that are look nasty are going to look less nasty. But they're still a week away. Uh, okay, you want to look at Luna. I, I don't. Uh, but because it... It just gave up in the last two days any of that good five-minute action. Remember, we were talking this five-minute stuff on Luna just being tradable. It still might be. This is the wrapped Luna. Um, but look, all of our patterns were over here. A massive bat. That was probably that bullish bat was the first one that failed at 17.5. Um Maybe this was a, the one minute time frame I showed. There was, I know there was a bunch. Oh, I know why. Because this is, um, folks, really, one, one thing I'll, I'll set up for you and show you. If you don't see patterns to the left, uh, the reason why that happens is because the scanner is limited to the number of bars that goes left. So let me show you. Uh, let me do it this way. Click on your combo settings. And you see that 400 right there? Okay, that tells you the maximum look back. If you want to see more patterns, just put a zero. Go to, go to 4,000 like this, and you should be able to get more patterns. Oh, there it is. Yeah. So I added that. Now, there's the other patterns we were looking at last week. A couple of bearish, um, but we were looking at the five-minute time frame. There you go. Here are some of the patterns from last week that we were, or last couple of sessions, just the, the reactions, that reaction, big crab reaction, small bat, small bat. But now, what do you have? Nothing. Really not much here to mess with. So, uh, you know, if I don't, not much I want to play with on this anymore unless, you know, unless something really clear developed on the five-minute basis. Um, and then depending on, you know, based on what they're saying about this, they're ditching the whole project. This will not come back. As a trading vehicle, like that first dead cat bounce, that was pretty fun. And it, that's, look, people are going to be looking for alternatives after this massive collapse.
that's why maybe Solana, Polkadot, and some of those other ones might pick up the slack. I don't know. But from a trading vehicle perspective, yeah, I mean, we the only thing we could say here is that you're at a type two of this crab. You know, the crab went up like that. The crab came all the way back down at the XA at amazing at uh, 0.0001223. You didn't hit it yet. You're pretty close. But that's that would be the only consideration I would have for Luna. Sorry, but it's just not happening. The type two, there's no type two Gartley. There's no Gartley there on the hourly. Like this hourly, let's look. You, oh, you have to blow this up. Uh, well, I see what you're trying to get at, but again, you're trying to say that this is a Gartley, this, and guess what? It's not a Gartley. It's close. It would be more like your ABCD 886. See how even that 886 points you still lower? 120 or so? Yeah. Um, yeah, I'm not, again, I think the risk on here is just not worth it. You haven't had any major reaction in two days to suggest that this thing is still trading like a normal creature. Let's come on back. Let's uh, check out what's going on here. Um, let's update. All right, look, check out what, yikes. Here's an NQ, folks. I want to, I want to start it with this. I want to wrap up with this. Okay, oof. Rolling over. Remember that ABCD we kind of squawked at? rolling over right off that ABCD and now showing a deep crab. So here's what we'll look for today. I, again, I started out and said that would be likely on the futures. Uh, here's the five minute chart as well. And that was the other thing we were showing. Look, this is what we traced out. We started at 1276. I said, let's look for one, uh, sorry, 11934. You're under 119. There's, that was the type 1 reaction I was going for when we started the today's session. So if you came in late, check out the beginning of today because this is exactly the segment we were identifying. And then let's see where we go. We got three more hours, three and a half hours till the close, till the 415 close. And where this closes today and into the week uh, is everything. Uh, you, you would have to see this thing do a miracle rally move today, now. And basically bounce off of this reaction, come back and retest. Keep an eye on all of that. I, I, I want to see, you know, this thing at least hold today. Otherwise, sorry. Again, you just have to go on the daily chart. And we are a couple hundred points away from uh, calling this over. Failed. Done. And then just looking at the large, larger term retracements, because if the hop level under 11.8 fails, it's going to be a big drop. I mean, it's not going to be, you're not going to be there bouncing. You're not going to have, it's going to be kind of the capitulation move where we'll shoot the gap. And this will just become some kind of major stab to the left come all the way down to something like that. That's where your COVID-886 is, 7,800. Those are the only two levels. You're, we are looking here exactly where we are at the 50% level now. And that is the 50. This is the whole BAM sequence too, the bat action magnet move. You break down the 50, then you go to the 886 for the full COVID reset. And I would think that would happen fast. It would happen probably half the time it took to go from there to there. Probably less than three months to, to complete that move. So, yeah, Ziggy, right, exactly. Life support, it is. We'll see. Give it, give it till tomorrow. We're going to talk a lot about that on Saturday and, of course, next week. Come on back. Uh, again, get with me here at Harmonic Trader. Email me with any questions, harmonictrader at gmail, to get with the Sunday course. And for everyone, gold or silver member, 
just click on your members page gold or silver they will be there on Saturday morning uh, they will be available there all right we'll open up at 9 30 I'm gonna post them later today so you can check your page later tonight and it'll be there the inform the login for Saturday morning appreciate it looking forward to seeing everybody on Saturday have a great one until then as always go get them and we'll see you Saturday